Yeah, got, got Dane Coles. Just how special was it to be part of that performance tonight? Yeah, mate, it was, it was pretty special. Obviously, um, just a way better intensity from the from the pool matches, and um, you know, we're just having that mindset. You know, we had last, next week's uncertain, so we didn't really want to go home. So we. Uh, yeah, we just put on a good performance that we can be proud of. So we'll enjoy, the, enjoy tonight, but plenty of work to be done. Did that just naturally happen, or were the team leaders driving it? Yeah, I think the leaders, but everyone was aware of it. You know, so it created a bit of an edge during the week, and um, when you don't really know your, your future. So, uh, yeah, I think but mainly through the leaders, but I'm sure the boys are aware of it as well. So, um, yeah, just good week, but uh, plenty to we'll keep our feet firmly on the ground because, you know, we've got, to, we've got to do it again. What did it feel like when you looked up at the scoreboard at the end? You've scored 62 points against France in a quarter final. I didn't really expect that the scoreboard to probably blow out like that, but um, yeah, just our intent to kind of just to work hard for each other. I think that was the biggest thing today, and yeah, just kind of bear a few things with 07 and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, just just stoked that um, you know we um, massive improvement from the pool games, and uh, we can uh, you know we've got another week in the tournament. And a huge lift from the forwards tonight really set the platform, didn't they? Good quick ball. Yeah, we did, mate. Uh, we probably haven't been where we wanted to be during that pool play, and we, you know, Steve and Cronway put it on, put it on us during the week, especially the front row. And um, I think the front row did that tonight. And so yeah, we, it's easy to do something once. We've got to do it again next week. So yeah, massive challenge, but one we're really looking forward to. Yeah, have you noticed the spring box of the tournament so far, and just how they're tracking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only found out tonight that we actually yeah, that's who we'll be playing. So um, yeah, yeah. Hey, we've played them. Plenty of times throughout, you know, my career. So yeah, massive challenge and a one, you know, really looking forward to. And a teammate of yours, Julian Sevilla, just a couple of words on how good he was tonight. Yeah, the big bus is awesome, mate. You know, he's um, <laughs> when you look up and see got him bumping guys off like that, it's, it's pretty special. So uh, yeah, hopefully he can carry throughout the, some of that into next week. Awesome. Thanks. Sweet. Cheers, boys. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Cool. Have a good one. Do you want Joe? Yes, please. Yeah. Joe, was that the most fun you've had in a black jersey? Uh, yeah, I hadn't actually thought of it like that, but um, in hindsight, I, I suppose it was actually, yeah. In terms of the uh, offload, the run, the rest of it, were you thinking what the hell's going on? Uh, to be honest, it all happened pretty quick and um, didn't really give it a second thought, but I'm, I'm glad it pulled off and went the way it did, so yeah. In terms of uh, getting more game time than you would have thought, I guess, yeah, you got the ball just on half time. Uh, it was yeah, it was actually 25 in, so um, it was a bit of a surprise. Uh, you know, I, did, I didn't actually know what had happened, but um, just got the call that Crocky was was a bit lame, and um, yeah, I was into it. What a whirlwind week was so for you. You come over here and play in a test match like that. That's something else. Oh yeah, mate. Um, you know, came over here last week, and then I was straight into the business end of things. You know, it's straight into quarterfinals, so. Uh, it's it's all been good and I'm I'm glad it's you know worked out the way it has and we get we get to play another week so. Yeah. We saw it at a frantic pace that match. But what was it like on the lungs aerobically? Was it pretty testing out there? Uh, mate, it felt like it looked. It was um, it was pretty high paced and yeah, to be honest, I was I was pretty buggered by the end of it. So, yeah. In a good way. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah. Not many scrums uh, in that game, Joe. Yeah. Is that a bit different to what you're normally used to? Uh, yeah, it is a little bit. I don't think the first scrum came until about 30 odd minutes in. So, uh, you know, we were looking forward to testing ourselves against the French tonight, and then we only, I don't even know if we would have got half a dozen scrums at, at the end of it. So, um, yeah, it was a little bit different, but at the same time, it kind of saved the legs a bit. So, it was all good. You'd expect that to change, though, against the Springboks, I'd imagine. Yeah, I guess just got to be ready for whatever they throw at us and however the game turns out. So, yeah. Awesome place. You think you can get up again for another big game? Oh, every game against the Springboks is, you know, a pretty sort of classic All Black Springboks test match. So, yeah, I'm, I'm imagining it's going to be a tough test. Yeah. Absolutely awesome, Joe. Thanks very much.